Hi everyone, my name's Anthony Cummins and welcome to this video. Now, today I'm going to tell you about the Eager and Coker Ninja myth. But before that, two things. First of all, all my videos are done to support one of my books, so why not let's look at Eager and Coker Ninja skills. This is actually a translation of Eager and Coker Ninja scrolls. So if you're interested in Eager Coker Ninja, you're not going to get much closer than that. That is the book you need to get by the History Press. There it is, by me, Anthony Cummins and read what real ninjas actually said from Eager and Koga. Second, before I get on to that, is I did a video last week called How to Think Like Sun Tzu. And normally my videos get a certain amount of hits, and this only got about 50% of those. I have no idea why, but I did um, a, a documentary, and it was like 28,000 views, and I did this one, 500 views. I was like, what? They're both about an hour long, so it can't be the it can't be the length everybody's whinging about. So basically, I think you've missed a really good video, guys. I put a lot of effort into that. Go back to my last video, which is called How to Think Like Sun Tzu, and it teaches you everything you need to know about sort of um, the art of war. And it talks about the 13th chapter in here, which is basically spying. Okay, so one... Get yourself that book. Two, go and see my last video, How to uh, Think Like Sun Tzu. Now let's get on to Iga and Koka Ninjitsu. Right, two people have created fuss in this world about Iga and Koka Ninjitsu. Number one is Dr. Stephen Turnbull. Number two is Stephen Nogiri. Both of them are authors on The Ninja. So, what's, before they started speaking, Iga and Koka were the greatest things on the planet. It's like... You opened your box of cornflakes in the morning and the Eager and Coca ninjas came out everywhere and they were like, yeah, we're the best. Then these two got involved. They are not wrong by any means. In fact, they're most likely correct, but they are misleading. So I am going to untie the knot they have created. And uh, But as I said, they are not wrong. They are correct. But uh, it sort of led people going that way. Now, Stephen Turnbull did a book called Unmasking the Ninja and he did a, an academic article um, on the myth of the ninja and also Stephen Nogiri has done books and videos on that you can follow him at Stephen Nogiri on YouTube so what's the problem is basically they've come along and said Eager and Koka Ninjitsu is just a myth or this idea that you know the, the Eager and Koka Ninja oh, the ninja of Japan is Eager and Koka that's not quite true now let me take you through what actually has gone on historically. So historically speaking, so first of all, in popular image, popular image, which is what you guys out there often think is that Eager and Koka, and it's pronounced Koka, not Koga. It's Koka, not Koka, or Koka, it's Koka, right? It, just, just so you're aware, but it's often wrote with a G. Now, the, the myth out there is that basically P, uh, ninjas who started Eager and Coca, uh, only ninjas came from Eager and Coca. There's no ninjas anywhere else. Everybody hired an Eager or Coca ninja and they are the best things since sliced bread. And they invented, um, I don't know, the electronic phone. You know what I mean? They did everything. And what Stephen Turnbull and Stephen Nogieri are saying is that that's not true. And actually it's overblown. And it's possibly, and especially in Stephen Turnbull's case, a bit of a myth creating by themselves. Now, I don't agree with all that, but let me take you through it. So basically, I have been through every document I can possibly find that quotes about the ninja. And I'll tell you one thing. Every O Eager and Coca ninja manual says we are the best. Every manual that comes or every sorry not manual every document that talks about eager and coca who are not written that which is not written by someone from eager or coca says they're the best okay it's that simple the show ninki says it um so that's the show ninki is written by natori ryu it's published as true path of the ninja and even that says they're pretty much regarded as the best and they're not even from eager and coca so, and you've got Gumpo Joshu, which uh, says they are the best. And you've got countless other smaller extracts that say they're pretty much the skilled ones. But what a lot of people are missing is that doesn't mean they're the only ones. They're the best, which means they have perfected ninjutsu. So myth number one is Iga and Koka created ninjutsu. No, they didn't. There is nobody that says that except modern people. In the original scrolls, nobody says that. In fact... 
Eager and Coker themselves say it's from elsewhere or it's from the gods or, you know, this. But, and I'm not giving anything away here, but everybody knows in the band Senshukai, the Book of Ninja, which is out now, it openly states Kusunoki Masashige, Kusunoki Masashige. If you look at the Shonen Ki, early people to write about this are Kusunoki Masashige. And other people, uh, lots of different people mention Kusunoki Masashige with his guerrilla tactics. So he, if you ask Aniga and Koka Ninja who gave us ninjutsu, most of them, not all of them, most of them say Kusunoki Masashige. We have literally published this multiple times. And for those who know your history, uh, Kusunoki Masashige has an involvement with Iga and possibly the Hattori clan. So, you know, shock horror. It's not like, you know, we're going that way. But what is undeniable, undeniable, is that everybody just after, just after the wars, are like, if you want to talk about the ninjas, Go to Egan Koka. Kusunoki, by this point, are totally gone. By the 15, 1600s, they are literally, in fact, hunted down some of them. The Kusunoki family is hated, and it's only later they get pardoned. So what you have is possibly the start of decent guerrilla warfare from here. We get a perfection of it, or a fame, you know, and usage of it, which is undeniable. It's from so many different sources that you would be a little bit crazy to say they were not good. Um here but what you get then is the peace happens and this is where the problem steps in of the myth Poof, we hit the Edo period and all of a sudden uh, we hit people like Fujibayashi Yasutake who talks in his book the Bansen Shukai I said again published as book of ninja he says Eager and Coker if you go anywhere and just send from Eager and Coker you'll instantly get hired whether that's true or not, it's just he says it as in like, of course, we're from Eager and Coker, who's not going to hire us. But he also, we know that at that point, he's saying these things are going missing, that we're, we're losing our traditions. Why is that so? Why is suddenly they're losing their traditions? Well, because Oda Nobunaga chocks along. He's like that got to Mount Hiei, I think. And I think it's Mount Hiei. And he's like, monks, destroy the monks, burn them all. And they round up all the villagers, all the girls, all the boys, all the lay people, all the monks, murders everybody. And he goes, oh, for God's sake, Iga's doing me head in and Coker at the minute. So Coker aligned with Nobunaga and then he goes and destroys Iga. And then he supplants um, their leaders there. Basically, they have an icky, which basically means... Um, a joint community system of samurai, not ninja, they're samurai. And then he destroys that and puts other people involved in charge. And I think Toda Takatora is at one point in charge. I think that's the guy who it is. Remember all this is from memory. Um, and so, and then what happens is they're displaced as samurai. They become uh, half samurai. There's actually a term they create for those who used to be samurai and eager and are now just literally, you know, hanging about their, their, their displaced. Like when the Anglo-Saxons were displaced by the Norman French. They're still there, but they're like, mother... You know what I mean? They're like, that's our castle. That's why the French in there. Pff, French. So eager, like, what's Oda's men doing here? Get out. But they don't, they can't get rid of it. So what you have here is those people who were in power are displaced. And then bit by bit, their ninjutsu crumbles and it crumbles quick. We know that by about the 1700s, you've got two major things here. One of them is Kimura Sensei, who's a Koka ninja, is like, he whinges, he's like a proper old man. Bloody youth of today, can't bloody do any ninjutsu. Get out of my garden. And he's literally says it, and I've translated it, it's in English, it's all there. And he says, people from Koka just say, I'm from Koka, mate. There you go. Give me some cash. And he said they literally go around the country going from Coca. And everybody around the country is got. They're so infused with this idea that from Coca Ninja, obviously, let's hire him. And it's like they're so infused with that idea that they they're just selling their 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 brand. So this is where Turnbull comes in with the brand of Ninjitsu. It's like here we are. We're from Coca. We're from Eager. These guys can't do jack. Shit. They're literally a hundred years after the war or more. It's like the fourth generation being sat around on their ass having a fang and like a can of co a can of coca smoke going, and they can't do anything. And that's Kimura's point. So, secondly, after that, you get um, the uh, O'Hara family trying to get trying to take control of coca. 
they go to the Shogun in Tokyo, they take a copy of the Bansen Shukai. For those who are just new to my videos, this is the Bansen Shukai. I'll keep talking about it. It's called the Book of Ninja. It's the Bible of Ninjutsu created by Fujibayashi Yasutake. So they plod along and they're like, oh, go to the Shogun and go to his delegate and say, hey, look at this, what we've got. Can you hire us and put us in charge of coca, please? And they go, no, and give them some money and give them a cup, which sounds weird, but actually a cup from the Shogun is quite cool, actually. It's like, thank you for your service in the past, but no, you can't have it. And the point they make is that they can't afford to do ninjutsu anymore. We sat around, we have to now farm, we have to do our own work, we've, we've seriously behind, we can't keep up with ninjutsu, but we have the, the secret scrolls. Please give us money because we're losing it. And then what happens is uh, later on, uh, well, actually 17, 16 ish, you get uh, Igamono and Kokomono. I won't go into that too much because it starts branching off into complex history. But basically around Edo Castle, there are various stations of guards who come under the banner Igamono. And all they do is make sure that um, you just get two types of Igamono, but again, it's complex. But all they do is look after the gardens and make sure nobody's going in there nailing the women. You know what I mean? It's like, that's my, that's the Shogun's harem. Don't be putting your machine in the wrong woman, which one guy did. And they had a family, like an actor, had an affair with someone from the castle. And they, I think that they murdered everyone in his family. It's not a daft like that. I don't remember the details. If somebody remembers it, put it down there. So basically, they're guards. And then I've got the last quote, which says... From a ninja, we've pretty much give up ninjutsu and we're night patrolmen now and that's it. And that's where you get the start from before Igor and Koka. They're not the first to do it. They perfect it and become the best ones. Kusunoki fall away. They, they then ride the wave of like, how cool are we? And then end up totally being useless or night guards or having small skills. Nothing like their predecessors but carrying the name Iga and Koka into the modern world in which every Japanese TV show you've ever watched about ninja, every ninja book you've ever read in the 80s before mine uh, came along, like Iga and Koka ninjas, they're all a mask on. That's why we have the Iga and Koka ninja myth. And that's what Stephen Turnbull is trying to say. And that's what Stephen Nogiri is trying to say, is that yes, they are there. Yes, they are doing good things. Nobody can deny that in the right mind, but they didn't make it up. And also there was other people doing it. But even though you might get an individual who might be great, so just to just to plug Steve and Nigeria stuff, is you've got Fukushima Ryu doing ninjutsu at the war nub, but nobody's talking about Fukushima Ryu because basically everybody's talking about Iga. So of course he's got a bee in his bonnet for uh, different reasons because he follows the Nigeri clan who are Fukushima Ryu. And so that there, for that fact, you've got individuals who are good at ninjutsu. Isui Sensei, you could class as a master ninjutsu person because he'd written the Shonen King, we remember him from that. But basically, that's all swamped because Iga and Koka have got thousands of people across Japan with a network going. It's like a courier system. So you've got, for those people, I don't know about America, but in England, you've got the British, the Royal Mail, the Queen's Royal Mail. They deliver everything, it's all sorted, and they're the best at it, you know what I mean? But other people are trying to do it. And then, of course, Amazon comes along, and now they can deliver, they're the best. So the Royal Mail is like Kusunoki, they're superb at this sort of tactics. Amazon come along, boom, destroy the Royal Mail with literally their free deliveries for everything. You don't even have to pay them anymore. The Royal Mail, you have to pay. Amazon, you don't pay, so they just deliver everything and take it out of their profits. So all of a sudden... The original ninja is supplanted by the next ninja and then we live off the the sort of like the, the fame of it. And that's why Amazon now, you buy everything from Amazon because of the fame of Amazon. It's that powerful. Okay, guys, don't forget, go and watch How to Think Like Sun Tzu. You've totally missed the trick by not watching that. Get a cup of tea, get a sandwich, sit down, watch the thing, have a think. Second, Eager and Coke Ninjutsu. Go and get yourself a copy, guys. Do support what I do. This is the words of Kimura Sensei right there, where I said he was whinging as an old man. This is his words from the 1700s, plus Chikamatsu, plus others. And then you will get up to date with Iga and Koka Ninjutsu. Bang, there you go. My name's Anthony Cummings. Subscribe, do all the bell stuff and all that. And uh, pass this video around.